Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create nice sound in wide, huge stereo reverb which is perfect for ambient music or sound design. You can do it on your computer with plugins or you can do it in hardware if you have enough routing options. So let's begin. It all started when I bought this unit and it was probably the cheapest sampler that I could find on local second-hand market. Initially I thought I'm gonna use it for drums and maybe some sound effects sampling, but then I started experimenting and I sampled everything here. And what I found really interesting about this thing is that it has three effect slots, which is a lot. Usually on vintage hardware you have like only one or two, and here we have lots of effects and this thing even has amp sim and overdrive distortion so you can create guitar chain here and of course i tried connecting my guitar here and then i thought can i make something for ambient because ambient music is highly reliant on the effects and we have like three effects it's like having three guitar pedals at the same time but the reverb default reverb sound let me just show you how it sounds. So here I have just a few samples from my old project and they sound like this. Now if I want to apply some reverb here, I'm gonna go and just add default reverb all the way up. It's just not enough really for ambient. Yeah, you, you can like increase the reverb time, but it's still not really enough and I want to create huge landscapes of sound. So I thought, what can I do? And after some time, after some experiments, I came up with this idea. So let me just build this effect chain from scratch so you can follow me and see what's going on. So on the first slot, I want to put some effect which can create nice stereo image. This can be stereo chorus, ensemble, or maybe dimension style effect, whatever you want. But I'm gonna use speech too. And what it does actually, it takes left and right channels and it pitches them slightly, like a few cents, up and down, so you have nice stereo image. If I show you how it sounds, this is without effect. And with effect. We already have nice stereo image. But what can be better if we had some delay before our chain? Delays are essential in ambient music. They can create huge landscapes without taking too much space in a mix. But I only have three effects and I can't insert delay before them. But luckily in this algorithm we have delay built in. But this delay is for processed signal. And if I increase delay all the way up and my feedback level all the way, you're gonna hear as sound goes over and over and it goes high and lower at the same time so you have such interesting tales just here this is not exactly what we want this is too insane so I'm gonna dial back the feedback and maybe reduce the effect level so we can hear more dry signal. Now it's gonna be like more controlled version lying somewhere in the back of a sound. So you can hear something nice is happening but it sounds really clean. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send this sound to effect slot two and three at the same time and on slot two i'm gonna select reverb 
actually not whole but stage I like this algorithm more even though it's not as transparent but if we increase high pass basically cut low frequencies it will become actually very nice reverb and I like this algorithm a lot so let's just increase our late reverb time and we don't need that and I'm gonna pan this second effect to the left all the way to the left and on third effect slot I'm gonna select exactly the same reverb with exactly the same settings I, I don't remember what it was 60 okay 50 and 25 so I'm doing exactly the same reverb and I'm gonna pan it all the way to the right let's now hear what it sounds like already very cool but now what I'm gonna do I want to somehow decorrelate right channel from the left and we're gonna introduce some change between left and right reverb so this parameter diffusion if it's on 10 it's gonna sound like this if I reduce it we can have more wide sound more interesting I don't really know what it does I think it changes some all pass delays network behavior which happens before the reverb itself the thing that actually creates early reverb and sets the space actually so if I go too low this is almost out of phase sound you can't really hear it I think on YouTube but believe me 6 or 7 creates best sounds in reverb and what I can also do I can reduce the dry signal level I can kill it by the way so now you hear just only reverb and it's really nice but let's bring some of the signal back and also I want all my samples here So now let's hear how it sounds, but I think those two samples are too much for this effect. So I'm gonna exclude them and send them independently to our reverbs. I don't know how much. So now let's listen how it sounds in the mix. I'm gonna save this as scene and if we compare this to original without reverb it sounds like this more boring obviously and this talk about how you can create the same effect on your computer in your DAW using plugins. This is actually pretty simple, just use some stereo widening effect and send left and right channels to two reverbs, tweak their parameters to sound almost the same but no, they're not, not exactly the same and you should, should get the same effect and if you really want the same as this pitch to algorithms it's actually close to vintage harmonizer legendary piece of hardware it does the same thing and I know some toys have the plugin that does the same thing or you can emulate it just send your signal to two buses 
on one bus just insert your ordinary pitch shift and pitch it slightly higher just like five cents is enough and put some reverb on second bus do the same but pitch it slightly lower then pan your buses left and right and you should get the same result basically just adjust your wet and dry signal so guys i hope today learned something interesting and if so subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot and personally i'm gonna use this technique in my music all the time because i really like the result it sounds big but transparent actually as transparent as you want so thank you for staying with me and till the next time bye